uh, YouTube. A few people were asking me to do a bit of commentary for a lap guide at Autodrome Lago Maggiore GP. Daily Race B. Um, in the trusty Supra with the Donny Fiasco livery. Shout out to the Muzbear for putting that together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and give you a bit of commentary before each corner. Show you where I'm braking. My speed's not the quickest. Um, but it's an okay time at the end of it. Um, and so if it does help you get better and better, then yeah, cool. That's the whole point of this video, really. It's just to give you a bit of an indication of where I'm braking, accelerating out, and making some time up. I think I'm just still under a second from the top time in uh, Asia, so I could probably get quicker, but again, it's how much time you're going to spend on qualifying. I'd rather be out there doing daily race B. All right, so just a couple of things. Obviously in the Supra, um, brake balance gets to three to the rear. Everyone's different. Um, you could be at zero, one, two, and you could even have it in the front. But I like a, I like trying to get a good amount of turn when I'm braking um, to give me enough uh, ability to exit out quick. So might work for you, might not, but uh, have a jam and let me know. So yeah, I hope this helps anyway, so let's get into it. All right, I'm I'm revving it all the way up in fifth gear here. Um, even if I'm completing a lap in a race, uh, I'll keep it in fifth gear. I won't change to sixth. Uh, the reason being is I'll be able to get it turning into the first corner quicker um, for me anyway. So my first breaking point is just after these cones, you'll see that shadow, that line of shadow finishing. That's where you want to start breaking. Uh, so you want to break hard into third, and then this next shadow coming up, um, down the end there, uh, you, that's your turning marker. So that's when you're going to start turning in from third, popping out into second, uh, and and going smooth across that apex. Um, and then you want to give it a little rev out um, just before you get to the hairpin. All right. Now this corner here, you want to get as close to that apex. You want to be you want to be on that apex because it's going to help turn the car. Um, so you're going to drop down to first. Then you're going to give it a little rev out and short shift straight into second. Uh, it just helps control the car a little bit more. Um, so yeah, the aim is to go a little bit wide here and then drop down to first and get that apex and get, get it turning the car. Now here, what you want to do is you want to keep it in third. So I'm not shifting up to fourth, even though you might feel like you need to, but you don't. So the goal here is to go as wide as you can and keep the acceleration going until you get to just about the apex and lift off a little bit. Um, no braking at all. Um, you should be able to ride over that apex and that should turn the car enough. Um, and then you want to keep it in third, revving it um, before you get to the next uh, braking point. So here, this is where we really start breaking. So just before this cone here, um, you might use another marker. Don't really see any other marker, to be honest, there. So the cone it is. Um, so just before this cone, I'll start breaking. Uh, so I'll put it into second. Some people just leave it in third, and um, but I find putting it into second gives me enough turning where I can set myself up to accelerate out um, once I hit the apex. So... This right hander, you can go over the apex or you can go around it. Um, most of the quick guys are going through it, but it's quite hard to handle the car going through it. Um, the key is not to accelerate too much as you're going over it, otherwise you're just going to start spinning out. Um, so the goal here is to drop down to second, turn, get, get that car turning, put it into third, and then you want to start gradually increasing the power in third to get as much exit speed as you can onto this long straight. All right, so you keep it in fifth. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to start breaking just after these cones. You see that little strip of concrete just uh, in between the white line and the grass? There's that strip. That's your breaking point. So you want to start breaking there or just about before that. Um, so you'll break 
uh, dropping down to third and then into second and then as you turn the car going up the hill you want to pop it into third just before going up the hill so you can get on the acceleration as quick as you can without um, uh, getting the car out of control so key thing is is trail braking around this corner um, so uh, brake hard at the start and then trail off um, as you get into second and then back into third All right, this corner here is uh, quite critical. So this is where you lose, or this is where you could lose a lot of time, um, or could gain a lot of time. Uh, so my braking marker here is that little concrete slab, just after those two cones. Um, so the key is to keep it in fourth, and give it a little light tap of the brake, and then switch to third lightly, um, still braking, and then back into fourth and then your full acceleration from there and do not lift through these S's so you want to get the car braking and turning on this left hand side as much as you can and then quickly on the accelerator and you're going to be holding it uh, all the way through so the key thing is uh, a lot of people will probably be asking well I can't I can't keep the acceleration going through this section I need to lift um, the key here is hitting this inside apex uh, to get the car turning as much as you can and then it sets you up for uh, the left hand coming up so we'll go through this right hander if you hit it right you can turn as far as, uh, left as you can so you don't have to lift um, so I'll show you what I mean so you want to be aiming for the see the end of that apex there you want to be aiming to hitting your left hand wheel or uh, over that while you're turning because this will ha give you kind of the steer that you can keep it flat all the way through without lifting. And make sure you hit this white apex. Uh, it helps carry speed through um, because this, this straight is uh, killer for time so you need to have that. Right, now this hairpin here, my braking marker is the end of this concrete wall, the green. So just before that, or the 50 marker, whatever you want to look at, um, you want to start braking hard here. So I'll be dropping down from 6 all the way down to 3rd, and then as I get turning on the right hand side, I'll drop it down to 2nd, um, usually midway through the apex. And then from there, you're accelerating all the way out from 2nd into 3rd. Uh, so the goal here is to carry as much speed as you can on the way out. Uh, it's not about trying to brake as late as you can here. It's about getting it ready for the next corner. Now, this right-hander here, uh, cut it. Cut it always cut it you're going to save some time um i think i don't think i cut it as much as much as i should have i probably would have got a little bit more time here so coming up to this section here now this is where you need to trail break as well so you you don't need to break at where these two cones are in the middle you'll see a little black mark on the Ripple Street. Hang on, let's see if I can get closer. See this little black line on uh, just in front of me on the Ripple Street. That's kind of my brake marker. So I'll brake just slightly before that, um, getting down from fifth to fourth, holding fourth a little bit, then into third. So as you feel like you need a bit more turning, that's when you hook it into third. And then as soon as you've got the car in a position where you can accelerate out, that's what you want to do. Now here, this is probably another pretty difficult corner uh, to get perfect, and I still haven't got it perfect, but the key thing is is keeping it in third, not changing it up at all. Um, and then when you get to that little that cone marker is when you want to start 
just lightly tapping the brake and getting off the accelerator and letting the car turn to hit the next apex because uh, once you get that turning right then you can hit the acceleration back on Now the last corner, so some people will break down to third, some will keep it in fourth, I keep it in fourth, and my breaking point is more or less just in between these two cones, so you see the two in front plus the one at the back, I'll break in the middle and I want to keep it in fourth, I just feel a little bit more comfortable keeping it in fourth, and then I want to get as close as the, onto the middle of the apex as I can, and then as I get, I'm on the apex, you'll be able to feel confident of putting the acceleration back on full steam ahead. And that will give you near enough of 53.542. Um, I could have gone, I can still probably go quicker, but I guess it's the Whole economies of scale right how much time are you going to spend trying to get a super quick lap time uh, it is important to get a decent lap time for daily races uh, it just puts you in a good position uh, for the race so i usually spend half an hour to an hour trying to get a fairly good uh quality time uh, at the start of the racing week um and then at the as i as i as i'm progressing through the races you're naturally going to get quicker um and then I'll do another quality maybe at the end of the week. So the goal with qualifying really is to get a good, obviously get a good lap time in, but try and try and get a lap time where you feel you can consistently get near that time because that's going to be your race pace. Um, so if you concentrate more on your race pace being consistent, the better. Um, it's all good and well having a super fast uh, qualifying time, but in the race if you can only do that one out of ten laps then you're in the shitter because uh, you're just going to get mowed down by the field so better to set a confident time that's up there for you um, race pace wise and then throughout the week you'll get quicker and quicker and then you can always come back and set a quicker quality time if you want to but yeah hopefully that lap guide uh, hopefully that lap guide just gives you a bit more information um, can help you towards getting a little bit quicker um it's no way the best way to do it but um it's helping me so yeah hope you enjoy it uh hit the like button uh make sure you subscribe and i'll leave you to it for the rest of the lap